all been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it in back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock I be doing big things Welcome back, everyone, to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis, and guys, I appreciate you tuning in this week because we're diving deep with the message today. And if you stuck with us over the course of 2023 and now into 2024, we've put out a number of videos and a recording message throughout the entire year of 2023 has been and need to be, for that matter, the beliefs that we stand on. And I specifically put together a string of videos to not only challenge your beliefs, and as I put it, challenge the ground that you stand on in those videos, but more so to help you look even deeper at those beliefs, to help you see and question if what you've believed your entire life does it still fit today for where you find yourself, or if it needs to be adjusted even just a little bit to help you fit your new paradigm, to help fit with where you want your life to move forward to in this now 2024. Everything changes when our beliefs change because everything changes when the story we tell ourselves, in fact, changes. And that is the basis of today's message. Before we dive fully into that, guys, please hit that subscribe button below and become a part of the Once a Week channel. We're bringing you new messages and new interviews every single Sunday to help you move forward towards your goals and towards the life change that you've been looking for. And we're coming to almost seven straight years in a few weeks. So please subscribe and join us and hit that bell below because that's the alerts. So you know exactly when we post a new video. But again, I'm so glad that you're here. So let's get right into it. As I said before, as we've gone over in the past, the story that you tell yourself dictates everything in your life. At your core, the beliefs about yourself, the beliefs about the world around you, about what you're capable of, about your goals, whatever it is. Those beliefs dictate where your life goes and how you feel today. So to start, you can pause this video if you need to. If you choose to write this down, this video will be activity-based. But actually, take a moment to get into deep thought about yourself. What is the story that you tell yourself about you, about work, about relationships, past and current, about your goals? What is the current baseline that runs through your mind? Unconsciously, this story is being played in the background of your mind and determines what happens in your life because it determines your decisions and it determines your confidence. Our self-esteem, our self-worth, our sense of confidence, our well-being, and our safety stem directly from the way that we think of ourselves in the world. Science and study has proven that time and time again now. But we need to take the time to figure out our role in that. So pause if you need to, but have that in your mind now. And now that you have identified some idea of that, we then need to see if it matches up to where you want your life to go. For example, we've all been through something in our lives, something that hurts us, that's pained us, that left a mark, a scar, a trauma, no matter how severe. And in working with so many people and speaking to so many different audiences, we all have a different perspective on those events. What might have pained one person may be brushed off the shoulder by another. But it's in that moment we need to put our ego aside and see things from the other's perspective. Compassion is key when understanding others. But since we all have a different perspective of the events we've all been through, we need to ask ourselves what they mean to us. And if today they still have the same definition or if we've healed and grown out of that perspective, we can ask, 
still serves us. One person can sit shackled by the same belief and story of their past pain for a lifetime, not allowing themselves to grow out of it because what happened to them has now become the foundation to how they, in fact, see the world. And I couldn't tell you how many people I've worked with, both kids and adults, who went through a trauma at a young age and then years later are still living out the repercussion of that trauma. They could have healed 10 times over, but they never allowed themselves to shift the perspective of what happened to them. So it has always been the backdrop for every single situation. And many people today are afraid to leave their houses because of something that happened outside. Many are afraid to start a new relationship because of the past relationship. And many today are afraid to go to the gym because of being picked on in the past. The list can go on and on. But all this now to show you if we don't question what happened to us from a higher vantage point after the dust has then settled, we run the risk of living out repercussions of the new beliefs, those traumas, pains, and scars that were left with us. I tell you this now, life can be so much more than that, but we have to want it to be. No more fear holding us down. No more external voices telling how to act or how to be. Just us choosing for ourselves where we want life to go and defining our moments based off of what guides us forward instead of what builds a wall instead. One area that I wish was taught to us at a younger age, but to this day is really taught, if at all, in a classroom or even by a parent, is the ability to choose how we define a moment in our lives. Think about that. Most of us live life as it comes to us, basing our responses and reactions to what happens to us on what everyone else around us and what history tells us we are supposed to do. What if you're different than every other person in the world? What if you're called for something greater, for something higher and different than all the rest? There's 8 billion people in the world now, but forever, there will only be one you. So something tells me that you're different and called to be different than everyone else. So if that's the case, then wouldn't your definition, your story of what happened to you, couldn't that be different as well? It can be if we choose it to be. When we change the definition, we then change the results. We change the story we then change the world. When you change your story, you then change your life. Powerful words. But we have to dive deeper. Because if we can grasp that the beliefs we stand on dictate our current circumstances, we have to understand that the beliefs we stand on dictate the results that we are then asking to receive. And this is deeper mindset, law of attraction, as I call it, the universal tool understanding. Your mind is an incredible gift. I've said numerous times before, it can do anything, it can create anything, it can answer any question that you ask it. But not many of us understand how to then use it. Your beliefs dictate what your mind brings into your awareness. Meaning if you believe you're lesser in this world, then your mind connects to that perspective because it doesn't know right or wrong. It just knows the information placed in front of it. If you believe yourself to be lesser, your mind will then seek it out and attract in situations, experiences, and circumstances to show you that you are in fact lesser. This is why I want to teach people how powerful the mind is and as I have throughout once a week's entire lifespan. Because the same goes for believing you're an absolute success in this world. Your mind then goes into action and brings in, attracts in situations to show you that you are, in fact, a success in this world, all based on the information that you tell it. And the information you tell it is created through the beliefs you have about yourself and beliefs you have about the entire world around you. All this to connect to our point today. The story that you tell yourself tells your mind what to bring into your life. 
The story you tell yourself plays unconsciously in the background of your mind, sending information on what to look for in the world. So for example, have you ever met someone who can't seem to find the right spouse? Every time they do find someone tends to go to the same result as the last relationship. Stepping deeper into that, why do we continue to pick the same types of people? Why do we attract in the same types of people? We're operating out of the story and beliefs we've told ourselves for so long. Unconsciously, there is a playback attracting in these results. We need to change the story to then change our lives. And to do that, as to move into closing this week's message, to do that, we need to redefine how we see ourselves in this world. We need to address our beliefs and then create new beliefs to then stand on. And during the workshops I lead, we set aside time for everyone to write down three new beliefs they want to live by moving forward. Because the more we repeat those beliefs back to ourselves, but begin to seek out the truth of those beliefs in our lives, the more we see the changes begin to show and the results begin to then appear. The new beliefs, the new story becomes our new conscious belief. It's right here. It's no longer in the back anymore. No longer in the back of your mind. Our mind is set to that new perspective of ourselves and the entire world. Until we take hold of this concept in our own lives, we tend to live life on autopilot, reacting and responding to what comes, but never stepping into the process ourselves. Let's step into the process ourselves now. Set time aside. Identify the beliefs you stand on in the story that you tell yourself. Decide if those beliefs still serve you or can change. And then write out and define new beliefs that you want to live by moving forward. What is the new story of you that you move forward on today? When we decide on this, we change our story. And then actively, we're seeking it out in our day-to-day -day lives, repeating and rewiring ourselves to these new beliefs. Healing the old story by realizing we receive what we needed to from it. And then taking hold of where we want our lives to go. That is living life in action. One step at a time, one moment at a time. And that, in my opinion, is why we're all here in this life. To learn. So let's learn and move forward today. Spend time on this, guys. It can change everything for you. But thank you for tuning in. Comment below if you have questions on these deeper concepts. And please, guys, if you did not already, like this message on YouTube. Hit that thumbs up button below. Share this message to someone who you feel needs to hear it and can then grow with it. Someone that you can help and reach out a hand to. And please subscribe to Once a Week if you have not already. That never continues to go up, which means we're helping more people. And that, I'm ecstatic over that. And if you are anyone you know is in need of a coach who can step in and help in these areas discussed today, to help you elevate to that higher level and see yourself from that higher perspective, you guys head to BillyGLifeCoaching.com. You can set up a free call with me, and I'm going to be right there for you because I want to be right there for you. And please, guys, click the link in the description to check out our Mindset Mastery course. This course will give you the tools necessary to step into that next great version of yourself and unlimit so many areas in your life. You guys, go take a look, and please sign up today. But I thank you so much for tuning in. As always, until next week. I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it a back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock